Hey everybody, Bill Ziemer, Utility Keystone Trailer Sales, Mannheim, Pennsylvania, where it's 75 and sunny. In our video series, we're going to talk about trailer upgrades and options when specking out your next reefer trailer. We will discuss light packages, insulation, and stainless steel options. So let's talk about what's the best insulation package for your ap application. Our standard insulation is going to be 2 inches in the sidewall, 3 in the floor, and 3 in the ceiling. If you decide to go high cube, we can reduce it to inch and a half on the sidewall, 2 inches on the ceiling and floor, and then deep frozen is going to increase your insulation to 3 inches on the sidewall, 4 in the ceiling, and 4 in the floor. But keep in mind, resale value is greatly affected if you don't have the standard inside dimensions. Also, when picking your insulation, if it's a thin wall application, make sure you have the high cube capacity BTU unit from Thermaking or Carrier. So let's talk about lights. Do you load at night? Do you need increased visibility? Do you want that visibility to help keep tow motors away from the sidewall to reduce interior damage? Interior lights now are mostly standard with LED, which is light emitting diodes, which are very bright and when spread out properly can give full view of the inside trailer. Let's talk about your exterior trailer lights. DOT package's minimum requirement is a 2015, which means two in the front, zero on the top rail, and five on your rear header. We can increase that light package to as many as 10 lights on the top rail, 10 on the bottom rail, and five at the back. So it, all, it will increase your visibility at night, it increases your safety factor, other vehicles can see you at night, and it's a great safety addition. Here are some stainless steel options to consider on specking your next reefer trailer. Let's look at the front wall. This is a .026 thickness stainless steel upgrade. It's going to cost approximately $350 to $400 upcharge, and it's going to increase your cosmetic look and increase your resale value. Another stainless steel option to consider is the landing legs. This landing leg is the satin finished stainless steel. It's approximately $370 to $400 upcharge. It's going to increase your resale value and reduce repainting and help prevent rust. Rear door panels can be upgraded to stainless. They could be quilted or flat smooth stainless steel. It's going to add approximately $400 to the cost of your trailer. You can also upgrade your lock rods from hot dip galvanized to actual stainless steel lock rods, approximately a $500 upcharge. Then we can upgrade your stainless steel cross braces from natural aluminum to stainless steel. Your door frame and buck plate are going to come standard with some companies, but then can be upgraded to stainless steel. And the DOT rated bumper can also be upgraded to stainless for about $350 range. All these features are going to enhance your cosmetic appeal. They're going to help reduce corrosion and rust, and they're going to increase your resale value. If you'd like more information, give us a call or click the link below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us for more information from Utility Keystone Trailer Sales. I'm Bill Ziemer, and we'll see you in our next video.